So I was doing a live stream a couple of weeks ago and I was asked during that live stream exactly where I hope to bring this channel in the future. Well, as many of you know, I want to grow this community. I want to grow a community of very like-minded people who have no problem being honest with one another and sharing their opinions, no matter how unpopular of an opinion or feeling it might be. But I do hope to grow this channel into something more, something bigger. I love movies. I would love to make movies. That has been my dream for a very long time, and it's just not going anywhere. So today in this video, I would like to express five of my passion projects, five things I would love to make sometime in the future. These are five particular projects that I have wanted to make for a very long time. Hopefully it happens one day. There are, of course, other projects I would love to do that I won't mention in this video, but these are the five that are always running on my mind. First on my list, and honestly, probably pretty obvious, would be a Batman movie. Now, it goes even deeper than that. It goes farther than that. I would love to do a trilogy of films. I would actually love to be able to even do more than that. Leaving room for growth inside of a Batman story is what I would want to do because there are so many ideas and different storylines I would like to tackle with that character. That Batman movie idea video I dropped a couple of weeks ago is one of many ideas I have, but it is not the idea I have. And like I've said before, maybe one day I will share it if I never get to actually make it. I would love to find a way to mix various worlds of Batman all into one. I would love for him to have the nature and skill of the Arkhamverse Batman. I would love for it to have the horror and thrill that you've seen someone like a Grant Morrison write him to be. And I would like for my Batman stories to have real life consequences the way Nolan did in his movies. That is certainly a very daring undertaking, but it would be something that I would want to sink my time into and figure out the best way possible to do that. As every Batman movie would go, he would enter different stages in his life, and every single time you'd see Batman, he would change a little bit, whether that be in physicality or mentality. With a Batman idea, obviously come Comes the idea of making a DC cinematic universe. And whereas maybe Batman would take front and center over everything, I wouldn't necessarily turn down the challenge of making a successful cinematic universe. It would be another very daring undertaking, but it would be an undertaking that I would potentially like to get my hands on to see how I could do. I feel like there are a lot of people who would want to get their hands on a DC cinematic universe for themselves, and even though Batman would be my first and foremost priority, I would definitely throw my name into the ring for a DCU. For my second passion project, I know that I do not talk about it on this channel as much as I would like. I make a video about it here and there, but not the way I used to when I was first starting this channel. My second passion project would be a movie or TV series on the Mass Effect trilogy. A lot of people don't actually know on this channel how much I love Mass Effect. There are times where Mass Effect actually ranks out DC for me. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two. It depends on my mood. When I first played Mass Effect 2 at the age of 15, it changed my life. It changed my video gaming experience. Everything was different and for the better. For anyone who has played Mass Effect, we obviously understand how intense and adventurous and exciting the Mass Effect world is and the Mass Effect story is. But not everybody plays video games. And I think Mass Effects 1, 2, and 3, the fight against the Reapers, the fight against the Collectors, that is something, especially for people who don't play video games, for them to get to experience it on the big screen. Like, 
feeders or maybe to get a TV show of it where you can do more episodes instead of a couple of movies and you can expand to every character and almost everything that you would like to do that's important from the game. Now, if it was in movie form, I would love to pull a Peter Jackson and Lord of the Rings situation with Mass Effect where these movies would hit theaters at maybe three hours long, two hours, 45 minutes at least. But when the movies come out on Blu-ray or 4K, there would be a four hour cut of it. I would even try to convince a studio to let me do two movies per game. So there would be six movies at the end of the day. If not, a TV show would work perfectly fine. And maybe we could even get to a specific point where certain episodes are long enough to premiere in movie theaters. So maybe there would be a possibility to make a two hour premiere or a two hour finale that could premiere in theaters for a limited time. Mass Effect is something that I would stick directly from the video games. I wouldn't try what a lot of people try to do nowadays and they try to make a video game movie that has nothing to do with the video game or it's completely different than the video game and when it comes to decision making in Mass Effect because everyone plays differently I would more than likely try to go off of the most popular decisions that fans and players make of the game when they play. I'm not going to sit here and explain to you guys right now exactly how much Mass effect means to me, but it is such an important series to me. I love it just as much as I love Batman and I love DC. It would be a project that I would love to work on and I would love to bring it to life, not just for people who have never played the game, but for people who have played the game, but can now experience it in a different medium. A Mass Effect experience through show or movie that would be a sight to see. Project number three is another sci-fi property, and it would be Star Wars. I used to be a die-hard fan of Star Wars, but that kind of ended in 2015, 2016. Ever since The Force Awakens came out, I have slowly but steadily lost interest every single year. I think there are some Star Wars projects that are really good, and others I just do not care for, and then others that are just simply bad. Even though I don't love Star Wars the way I used to, I would still love to make a Star Wars movie for a brand I used to love. But when I watch Star Wars, don't get me wrong, I love the space battles, I like bounty hunters, I like the blasters and the gunfights, I even like the politics, but at the end of the day, I really watch it for Jedis, Siths, lightsabers, and knowledge of the Force. That has always fascinated me and has kept my interest more than anything Star Wars has to offer. I actually have two stories I would like to tackle with Star Wars. One of them is simply put a war between Jedi and Sith. The timeline isn't important to me. It could easily be in the Old Republic time, so thousands of years ago, or it could easily be thousands of years in the future where the Skywalker saga doesn't even matter anymore. I would love to display on screen the way you get blaster battles of full armies, rebels versus empire, clones versus separatists. I'd love to see that, but with Jedi's versus Siths. I would love to see the political and galactic domination of either the Jedi who swear to keep you protected or the Sith who just want to control and gain power power. I would love to play around with the morality of both sides and show you that Jedis aren't always the good answer as they have been depicted to be before, which is what even George Lucas tried to tell you in Revenge of the Sith. And maybe whereas Sith, the ideas that they have aren't the best, sometimes they're not always the flat-out villain. And if it is that particular story of Jedis and Siths fighting, I would absolutely love 
to make it like a Game of Thrones vibe. A little more of a violent Star Wars, which I don't think they would ever let that happen, so that might cancel out that idea already. But just in general, characters that you grow to love who could die at any moment. And then the second idea that I've had for a story is about a guy who is a very, very, very powerful Force user, but he's neither Jedi or Sith. And I'm not saying he's a great Jedi, don't worry, I know that doesn't exist. But the idea would be is no matter how powerful he is, he doesn't necessarily know how to harness what he has. So what he has to do is get trained. But the problem is, is he doesn't know who to side with. He doesn't know if he should be Jedi or Sith. So what he does is he goes around almost like a Bruce Wayne and basically learns from many teachers around the galaxy how to use these particular powers and what to harness them for. And throughout his story through film or show, it would be about him figuring out where he wants his allegiance to lie, if he wants it to be more Jedi side or more Sith side, and what the Force simply means to him. Star Wars is such a vast and wide universe of possibilities that nearly every story could exist in some way. As for my fourth passion project, it's actually a project I have been working on for quite a few years. It's my own original IP, one once again, maybe one day I will reveal it to everyone and explain what it's about, but it is another sci-fi with a mixture of medieval fantasy. It's something I have been writing and trying to make it into a book. I've even been making a database for it where I've cataloged a bunch of events that have happened in this world before you get to the events of my main characters. I've been really trying to grow something with this story and whereas I would love to publish them into a book I would also love to make a movie out of it or a TV show out of it because for me a lot of the times my brain works when I'm creating something. I create in the form of visual media. I create in the form of movie or show something you can sit back and watch. I feel like medieval fantasy with a mixture of sci-fi isn't something that's done every day and when I came up with the idea it got me so excited because this could be a genre that maybe isn't done or isn't done as much and it could be a big hit. One day I will reveal what it's all about. And then a fifth passion project of mine is more of a thriller mystery, almost like a clue type of a movie. Without giving too much away, it's about a group of people who have been cloned or artificially generated in the sense that they've been turned into an AI robot same likeness, same personality, and these people have to figure out who's who. The differences would be so subtle and so hard to find. It would have a much deeper meaning than just let's play a game of Clue and see if we can find the fake ones. I would want it to really be about our humanity and how we treat others. Because humanity tends to have this addictive nature of finding alien life not believing we're the only ones here. And then when we find the way to make alien life in robots, usually what is depicted is we treat them as our slaves or just complete garbage in general. And even though they are not our biology, even though they have the potential to be so much more than us, I'd like to play around with this idea of what does it say about us to treat them the way we do when they look like us, sound like us, and feel like us. But there it is, everyone. Those are my top five passion projects as of right now. And I'll tell you right now, the two projects that will never leave this list is Batman 
and Mass Effect. And I think what's so exciting about Batman is that I could make him in the image of which I have always desired to see him in. And it's also the possibility of being able to mold a DC universe from that. And as for Mass Effect, not only is that video game so important to me, and not only would it be so epic to see Commander Shepard, Reapers, the Normandy, all of its crew on screen, but we could even bring that franchise into the future. As time goes on, you could develop a Mass Effect Andromeda movie or show. You could develop the new game they're currently making. You could even make a prequel show or movie about Admiral Anderson or any other character. Mass Effect is a universe that could easily exist in film and TV just as much as it does in video game. But now everyone, let me know in the comments below what you think of some of my passion projects. And also, if you're into this industry, if you would like to make movies or books or games in the future, let me know what some of your passion projects would be. But that is all I have for you on this one, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And until next time, I will talk to you all very soon.